Uh, I'm here with Ohio Valley University head baseball coach Chad Porter and <coughs> senior Justin Gill. Uh, coach, for qu first question for you. This is your second season back here at your alma mater, but it's the first time that you've been able to evaluate your guys after full fall ball and now winter workouts. That being said, how is the team looking so far? I, you know, we look good. We, we had a great fall, a uh, very intense fall. Uh, we, we pushed them pretty hard. Uh, we saw a lot of gains physically, you know, uh, from a strength and conditioning standpoint. And then, uh, you know, I think we've, we've developed some leadership, uh, you know, off the field. And uh, on the field, you know, we've definitely seen improvement in, in trying to get a new system in. And, uh, you know, so we, we like where we're at. Last season probably didn't end quite the way you guys wanted it to, but you did win uh, three of your last five uh, conference games. You qualified for the conference tournament again. Talk a little bit about the foundation that was laid last year and how you expect to build on it this year. You know, I, last year I think that uh, taking over in January, uh, the expectation was, you know, to, to maximize, you know, our potential. And I, I think we did that. I think that we improved from day one to the end of the conference tournament. I thought we played well in the conference tournament and probably should have won uh, you know, won some more games in the conference tournament, you know, but uh, I think it, I think it left our guys hungry and, uh, you know, allowed us to, to really see some growth. This year, the GMAC's expanding. We added Malone University. Talk a little bit about the level of competition you expect to face in conference play and how your team stacks up against the rest of the conference. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, you know, this year with the addition of Malone, it just makes everything that much bigger. They have a great program. Uh, you know, and, and of course, Trevecca, Kentucky Wesleyan, Alderson Broadus, Cedarville, uh, you know, all those teams coming back. Uh, Davis and Elkins uh, will be much improved. Uh, it's going to be a very good league, and uh, it's only going to get better. Uh, we have our work cut out for us. And, uh, you know, once again, we need to go back to just getting better every day, you know, competing, uh, improving, uh, you know, playing pitch to pitch, and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, playing hard. And finally, for you, Coach, this roster is full of uh, new faces. You know, half of your guys are brand new to the program. Talk about some of the leadership of your returning players, and then what are some of the new faces you expect to make an immediate impact on the field? Yeah, I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, I'm really pleased with, uh, you know, uh, our returning upper, upperclassmen, Justin being included, and, and the way they've, uh, you know, they've become very good leaders of the program. You know, I, I think more, way more than over half, you know, are new players, you know. Uh, you know, you're, you're talking 25 or 26 new players in, on our roster. Um, they've done a great job. We've got some older guys uh, that have come in and, and some younger guys that have stepped up and, uh, you know, bought in and are becoming good leaders. So that's really good. Uh, from, the, from the new player standpoint, uh, we've got a lot of guys that it's it only time will tell where they fit in, where, uh, you know, what our lineup's going to be uh, and, and how guys are going to contribute. I think a big question mark is our pitching staff. It, it, it's a very young pitching staff, a, a lot of new faces, uh, you know, a lot of untested guys. So that's going to, you know, a big key to our season is how those guys step up. And then, uh, you know, defensively and, you know, at the plate, got a lot of new guys as well. You know, looking for good things from, uh, you know, catcher Mitch Lohr, freshman, uh, freshman right-hand pitcher, uh, Nick Schauer, uh, you know, uh, Mitch Davis, you know, junior college transfer. Um, you know, we've got a lot of different guys, you know, a lot of, and a lot of different question marks. And those are only a couple of guys. But, uh, you know, uh, Ryan Valentine, another freshman. So, it, I, you know, we may have a lineup carousel, you know, for a while. But, uh, you know, we're going to have six or seven weeks to get ready for that Kirk First Conference series. So there's going to be a lot of guys in and out, and uh, which is good. We've got to find that lineup that, uh, that clicks. And now for you, Justin, this will be your second year playing for Coach Porter. Talk a little bit about what his coaching has meant to you personally and what his leadership has meant to the program as a whole. Well, Coach um, just pretty much reinforces every day, just getting better um, with each ground ball, each swing, uh, just day to day, just try to improve. And uh, I try to carry that aspect. Um, I try to carry that you know, outside of baseball as well as uh, – in baseball, just try my best each day and just try to improve. And uh, Coach just kind of brings that to the program just each day, you know, just uh, wants us to try our hardest, get maximum effort, and just improve each day. And then uh, lastly, what are some of the things the team has identified as goals you guys want to achieve, and then are there goals you set for yourself personally? Um, well, personally, I, you know, it's nice to have a certain, you know, a certain set of uh, home runs to hit and 
bad and average, and I really, I personally really don't like to think of that. Um, my pers just personal goal is just to win and uh, help the new guys just kind of develop, you know, become better ball players, become better guys uh, for the team to just mesh well, um, do well academically. And then for the team, just, um, you know, we want to, we don't really have a certain number of, you know, ball games in mind. We want to win, you know, more obviously than we lose. But I'm really confident in these guys, especially the new guys, the uh, freshmen are, uh, are pretty talented and the uh, chances are as well. And um, we think we can, uh, we can make some noise and compete in, the, uh, compete in the conference and then academically, you know, we want to get at least a 3.0 and uh, just be as well-rounded as possible. Thank you guys for your time and good luck this upcoming season. Thank you.